Hello and welcome. We are in Milan at the home of Mafra, who make the Labo Cosmetica range of detailing products. And I'm joined here by none other than Reggie Cox. Thanks. Um, and he's a terribly exciting guy. He's very cool. He's also Dutch. So we've been making Dutch jokes more or less for the whole two days we've been here. True. It's, it's fun. It's very true. Um, and I've asked Reggie to run through some sort of highlights of the Labo Cosmetica range. The Mafra factory here is vast. We've got manufacturing, we've got research and development, they've got bona fide um, chemists and uh, research developments and lots of very clever looking machines. Uh, we've been looking at your ceramic coatings True. Uh, and how they'll work. We even had a PowerPoint presentation, which was awesome. Um, so what I want to do now is just have a look at the sort of maintenance, wash, decontamination products that you've got here. And what's fascinating about Labo Cosmetica is that they create a product around a requirement, not around an existing product genre. So they've got a couple of products uh, that aren't comparable to anything else because they've just thought, right, well, we need to fix this. Um, and so we're going to create a product to do that rather than just put it into a box. Um, so if we start with that particular product that's in mind, which is a decarbonizer, which is Kronos or hashtag Kronos. Everything's hashtagged. I don't know quite why that is. Just for the... For the visual effect. And also for the the, the, the CEO, CEO, search engine organization and the oh, online, nice. yeah, oh. everything in a label. That's key. Well, I have to admit, the labels are very, very cool. And one thing I want to show you about the labels. So if you ever come across a uh, Labo Cosmetica product, have a look in the bottom left-hand corner, and there is a little arrow, and it allows you to put this up. And you can teach yourself different languages in a detailing environment. So that's kind of cool. Um, but anyway, I have talked far too much as per normal. Reggie, tell me about Kronos. Kronos. Kronos is what we think uh, a hole in the market, where we have the internal part of the silencer mm -hmm. that you need to decarbonize. Something so silencer, we're talking exhaust tips here. Yes, the inside of the exhaust, where we have the buildup of uh, carbon, uh, fumes, and the blackness. And what we used to use was the steel wool in combination with a polish or a polished cone, doing a lot of physical labor, mm -hmm. and taking a lot of time, product, effort, microfibers, and everything. So we thought if we take it into a different direction, try to dissolve this chemically and do it in seconds instead of hours. So that makes sense. So as, as Reggie was saying, you do spend a lot of time and everything goes black. When you're playing with your exhaust pipes, we've got to be careful how we phrase this, but when you're playing with your exhaust pipes, everything goes black and it's very difficult to get that black out. So sure. it's, it's really the microfibers, that's the final job. If you're a microfiber and you're going towards the tip of an exhaust pipe, then you know that your life is, is, is not long. And it's the last time you're using the microfiber. You're quite, quite. So um, that's quite a cool product. I have used it myself on very heavily carbonized stuff and I found uh, that it did remove an awful lot, uh, particularly if you apply it twice, because if you've got a thickness of carbon buildup, because it's acting chemically, it can only really act on what it can touch. So it needs to remove the first layer and then you can do the second. True. And I actually used it in combination with a bit of wire wool. Um, so you've got the benefit of physical abrasion and the chemical power, uh, and that worked really, really nicely. And the other thing to consider is stainless steel is quite hard, uh, but if you've got mild steel exhaust, which is softer, uh, when you're using kind of abrasive, you've got to be careful not to actually just scratch the metal. Exactly. Well. So that's a nice system for that. So big on, say, classics and stuff like that. Anyway, what would you like to talk about next? Well, let's start off with one uh, I'm most excited about, and that's Purifica. Purifica is our decontaminant wash. We call it our aspirin against lime scaling. Mm -hmm. um, we designed this product because we think that if you have different kinds of contamination on the car, a pH neutral product just has its limitations. Mm -hmm. So to remove mineral deposits, lime scaling, uh, rejuvenation of ceramics, then we need a product that contains acid without corrosive ingredients. Mm -hmm. So it can take off the mineral deposits. So what you see is when you apply ceramic coating and you're driving all summer and everything's going fine, you got your beading, you got your sheeting, you got your shine and everything is okay. But then again, then we drive into the winter. We get the, the wetness, the rain, the salts, the accumulation off. And after the winter, we see that the ceramic is dying. Mm -hmm. It's losing its beading and sheeting. Now everybody then thinks... Oh, the ceramics failed? The ceramics failed. And it hasn't. They, they ripped me off with the price and the installation. Ceramics, it's not beading anymore because customers always look at the visual aspect of a ceramic and that's the beading and the shine. Mm -hmm. So this product takes down these mineral deposits without affecting the actual ceramic, bringing back the splendor to its original state of the day of application. So in this whole system, this product is the only one on the market right now that can maintain the ceramic at a level that we have not seen before. 
That's interesting. And just referring back to the pH, there are two things I kind of want to say there. First of all, is that the pH is just a, it's, it's just a, a reading, it's just a number. Yeah. In terms of how dangerous an acid or an alkaline is, it's not just down to the pH. There's all sorts of other elements that you need to think about, of volatility, concentration and stuff. It gets complicated and super exciting, but only for people like me, um, <laughs> it would appear. Uh, it's not first date material. And um, so you get lots of people saying, oh, you need pH neutral to maintain your LSP in the belief that if you were to put something slightly alkaline on there or slightly acidic on there, that if you were using, say, an organic wax, it would take it off. There are a lot of wax manufacturers, particularly of hybrid waxes, who actually say that it makes no difference whatsoever. But generally speaking, for things like water spotting, uh, you're looking for an acid, um, because that's how it works. Same with things like concrete. They prefer to come off with an acid. They won't come off with an alkaline. Uh, but a lot of the more cleaning-focused shampoos and pre-washes, they're on the alkaline scale, uh, which will remove certain other elements. So that brings us on to Primus. Primus, tell us about Primus. Primus is the alkaline solution to get rid of your organic substances on the car. So we have the bird impacts, we have the dirt, we have the, pheasants, the grease, the pheasants that are stuck in the grill. Yes. You need a high concentration of the product to get rid of the pheasant. Instead bit of pressure, of fine. pressure a little bit. Yeah. Yes, it means at least a little bit. So this product is doing what an alkaline pre-wash is doing as you know it from the early days without the caustic ingredients. We need to know for sure that the surface to be treated is fully respected on every single surface. So to emphasize this, we took both of these products back to Germany for the VDA, for the Verein der Deutsche Automobilen, an independent body that is focused on car wash chemicals, uh, mm -hmm. car wash installations, what car wash installations should be looking for on angles of how, to, how much pressure there is, because if you drive a Jaguar e from 1965 into a modern tunnel wash where the water car is being washed with 300 liters, they need to do some modifications. To be fair, if you're driving a 1965 E-Type into a tunnel wash, you've got problems anyway. Yes, but I have seen it, so that's why I'm mentioning it. <laughs> wow. So we got, the, on both of these products, we got a Class A certification, making it 100% safe for every single surface. So the pre-washes we already know from the early days with the caustic ingredients contain these caustic ingredients that can affect uh, plastics, mm -hmm. uh, aluminum, uh, it used to be true chrome, today yeah. it's just a piece of plastic with chrome plating on it, so it becomes very delicate. We as detailers are stuck with the manufacturers reducing quality of the materials they are using, so we need to adapt the chemicals for those materials. Okay, we have mumbled enough about these. What's those? Next one in the line, also an innovative product. I have to tell something about the history, because some of these products are born because of the necessity in the market. So this product was designed uh, because of the problems they have in the Philippines. In the Philippines they have the masoon, huge accumulation of water, raining, uh, the smog in containment with the acid rain, uh, take then the sunshine that's coming blasting on the car, immediately drying, making the car contaminated at a level you've never seen before. Mm -hmm. Now water spot removers, uh, we all know, but this takes it to the next level, where we can dilute this product to a certain level and just ease off the amount of lime scaling on top of the car without so this you, you, can, you can dilute and spray over the whole vehicle rather yep. than just sort of spot repairs. We do, um, like I said, uh, in Purifica we say that Purifica is our aspirin against lime scale mm -hmm. and sometimes aspirin doesn't work because you get sick and you go to the doctor and you need an antibiotic. And this is what we designed the Nergo for. So if you want to apply nano protection on a windshield um, and you just take a little bit of washing, there's always mineral accumulation on top of the windshield, reducing the amount of protection or duration of your windshield protection or your water repellent. Mm -hmm. This product takes down all the minerals, leaving a sterile surface ready to be coated or protected. It's one out of it. Definitely one mind-blowing product. Uh, what we see is that the project doing in Korea is doing so well that we already stocked out twice because wow. of the amount of product they are buying there. And, and this is quite a small bottle. How, how far would this go if you're, for example, just spraying the whole car post-monsoon? And we get kind of monsoons too, frankly. It's just we don't call them monsoons. No, it's we just, don't. It's just wet and cold. We, we, it's, it's, it's bloody raining. <laughs> <laughs> he does a great Cockney accent, by the way. Um, so how much, if, if you were to do spray over a whole car that had got watermarks all over it, how much of this bottle would, be, would you be using? I think if you do a dilution of one to five, mm -hmm. and you do a 500 ml bottle, mm -hmm. you can make minimally five bottles. So you have 2.5 liters to use yeah. for this whole sequence. That's pretty cool. Um, and so that leaves us with Veritas. Now, I want to do the introduction of Veritas, if you may. By all means. We've been playing around with this. Um, if you're a cynic, you're, well, in terms of a quick kind of way of describing it, it's a panel wipe. 
Yes, essentially. Now, uh, detailers often require to refer to Power White as Truth Serum, uh, and Labo have gone that much further and call it Veritas, which I suspect is foreign for truth. Latin. Latin, yes. And keep, well, which is very English, case on hand. Hence, verify, etc., etc., but we won't get into etymology now. This is the wrong <laughs> channel. Um, but uh, I've seen, we've had Ian and James, who are actual detailers, rather than just people who talk about detailing like me, and they've been using it um, on uh, ceramic coating high spots and stuff like that, and it, they are absolutely blown away. There have been many expletives, they're very impressed with it. Um, but tell me a bit more about this. So the initial design was, if you take traditional IPA, you have a product that's very volatile, uh, I'm sorry, very fast evaporating. Mm -hmm. uh, so what we did is we tried to move into a different direction, going into the range from nephews from alcohol, going to three different types of solvents, combining them together, making sure that the surface becomes less static because there's less friction necessary and very mm -hmm. slow evaporation. The product is concentrated in its concentrated form. It is true the guardian angel of the ceramic application. Um, when you see a high spot uh, and you forget it and it's the next day, you're already in the nightmare phase where mm -hmm. you have to repolish sometimes half the sand depending on which ceramic you're yeah, using. Tears before bedtime. This product guarantees you that in a, in, depending on the amount of physical content, you can remove ceramics. Our blindo you can remove in the first 36 hours. Mm -hmm. So if you make a mistake, you'll have 36 hours to correct it with Veritas. The other way around is that when we make a surface prep, so a panel wipe prior to the application of a ceramic, you can dilute the product to one to three. Mm -hmm. Now, if you want to swirl a highlighter uh, to make the truth after um, the polishing operation to see if the true result is there, you can by, dilute it. But just, just to go into a bit of detail, when we say the true result, polishes all contain an element of, not necessarily intentional fillers, but oils no. and lubricants. Lubricants and all sorts of things yeah. they will leave behind. And these literally fill minute swirls so that the car looks perfect. Yes. Um, but then of course, they will eventually come out and if they're underneath the coating, that can cause trouble. So the point of a panel wipe is to make the paint naked, essentially. Exactly. Because if you're working with nano protection, if you have microscopic contamination, you have reduction of linking of the actual protection on the surface, reducing the durability. Mm -hmm. So if your preparation is already flawed in the surface preparations, that means that your ceramic is never going to perform what the manufacturer is promising you. If you say, okay, well, we got five years of protection, that's fine, but you need to go down basically to the most sterile surface imaginable before you apply your nano protection. Absolutely. And this makes it a standalone product on the market. It's quite fun. I'm looking forward to playing with this. Me too, just man. Just don't, just don't use it to light the barbecue with this. Uh, <laughs> no, it's no better. That's, that's what happens to the... Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, absolutely. Well, thank you very much for watching. We're going to do another video on your ceramic coating range. Yes. Um, but we didn't want to kind of put too much into one video. So do that. Uh, keep an eye on the channel uh, for updates. Reference the Labo Cosmetica. Reggie, it has been a pleasure. Thanks, Thanks for it. Honor's mine. <laughs>